In this video, we'll do adding and subtracting matrices. Here in this example, we have five matrices and we have here four examples to adding or subtracting two matrices. We have to know this condition because we can't do adding and subtracting matrices unless this condition satisfied, which is matrices must be the same size. What is the size? The size, sometimes they called it order or dimension, which has the same expression. The size mean the size of matrices are the number of row by the number of column. What this mean? It's mean like here we have here two row, three column, we have to put 2 by 3. So this is the size, order, or dimension. They have the same meaning. Here we have this size of this matrices, 2 by 3, this size, 3 by 2, this size, 3 by 2, this size, 2 by 2. So here it's very obvious. We can only do adding and subtracting for these two matrices or these two matrices but this one we can't add or subtract it from any matrices in here so here we have the first question here a plus e as you can see here the size of a 2 by 3 the size of e 2 by 2 the rows are equal the column are not equal so it's undefined because it's not satisfied this condition. So we have to write here a plus e is undefined because the size of a not equal the size of e so we can't compute a plus e here we have a plus b first we have to know if they are the same size or not they are the same size because here 2 by 3 here 2 by 3 now we have to write this one a again here so i will write here again a plus b which is here i will write it here so here we have to add them together i will write it here 5 plus negative 2 2 plus 1, negative 1 plus 6, negative 3 plus 8, four plus three, zero plus negative one. We have to compute each entries here. Five plus negative two, which is three. Two plus one, which is three. Negative one plus six, which is five. Negative 3 plus 8, which is 5. 4 plus 3, 7. 0 plus negative 1, which is negative 1. So we have computed A plus B. Now we want to compute A minus B. The same thing. I will write here A and here B. Minus. Now I will write B. So 
So here 5 minus negative 2, 5 minus negative 2, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, negative 1 minus 6. Negative 3 minus 8. Four minus three zero minus negative one five minus with minus here it will be positive, so it's like five plus two, which is seven. 2 minus 1, which is 1, minus 1, minus 6, which is minus 7, minus 3, minus 8, which is minus 11, 4 minus 3, which is 1, 0 minus negative 1, which is 1. Because minus with negative, it will be positive. So we have computed this one. Now we will do D plus C. So here D plus C, which is this one. I will write it again the same as these thing. So here I will write D, which is here. Here we have to write C, which is this one. I'll write it here. equal minus 4 plus 6 minus 4 plus 6 here we have 8 plus 7 8 plus 7 minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 1 plus minus 1 3 plus 2, 3 plus 2, 2 plus 0, 2 plus 0, negative 5 plus 3, negative 5 plus 3. Then we have here, we have to compute these entries, negative 4 plus 6, which is 2. 8 plus 7, which is 15. Negative 1 plus negative 1, which is negative 2. 3 plus 2, which is 5. 2 plus 0, which is 2. Negative 5 plus 3, which is negative 2. So finally, we have computed this one. Here I have note here about this. Note. I will use another color here I will write this one here a plus b a plus b which is the same as b plus a so if you compute a plus b the result is the same as b plus a this is a basic properties of matrices under the operation of matrix addition another property the same as this one similar to this one here a minus b is the same as a plus negative b so if you compute negative b so if you multiply here b here with negative one then add them together you will get the same result as a minus b so you can write this one here equal this equal to this one then you can compute it and you will get the same result as this one that's it this is the adding and subtracting matrices thank you for watching and see you in the next video